Hi, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to insert all of these images and align all of these text boxes perfectly with it into the center of your document. So the first thing we need to do is just to go and grab the images. So if we go up to insert, go to pictures, click on the drop down, and you can choose your pictures from your files, which is this one here but I'm going to use the stock images that come with Word. So I'm going to click on this one and obviously you'll select all of your images from your files. Just click on them all and click insert. But just over here, I'm going to type in the search bar here, just some animals. And I'm just going to go ahead and select a variety of different photographs, all of different sizes. And then just click insert. Now, when any image is inserted into Word, you can't move it. So if you click on it and try and move it, it will jump back to its original position. So for each image, we need to right click on it, go down to wrap text and click in front of text. And then with this one, do the same, right click, wrap text in front of text. And then for all of them, I'm just gonna reduce the size of them because then we can begin to see the photographs underneath. Click on the one behind, right click and do the same. And I'm just gonna go through and do that with all of the images. Okay, so now you've done all of that, what we need to do is just space them out on our page and decide what size and what aspect ratio we want our images to be. Now you can see from these images, they're all landscape. It does help to have them in the same orientation. If you don't, you can still manipulate it and you can still resize them. So if you want around about six images on your page, I've worked out that the height of each of your images should be around 3.4. That just gives you a nice balance between the spacing and also it fits the page better. So we need to decide on the aspect ratio and basically that means the height and the width dimensions. So let's click on this giraffe photograph for example, go to picture format, go to crop, click on the drop down and go to aspect ratio. We now need to go to the landscape aspect ratios and you need to decide which one you want to select. So for me, a four by three is quite a good size landscape image. So I'm going to select four by three for all of my images. So just select it. And you can see when we go down to this giraffe photograph that Word has selected a portion of your image. Now you can now move your image left or right within that frame. And once you're happy with where the image sits, you can just press enter and your image will be cropped. Go ahead and do that for the next image. Aspect ratio 4.3 and move that face over to the right, or over to the left, sorry, and press enter. Don't worry about the sizes of all this. We'll come back and do that at the end. So I'm just gonna go ahead now and do that to all of the images. So now all my images are the same aspect ratio. Now they don't look the same size and they may not even look the same aspect ratio. But all I'm going to do now is I'm going to select each image, go to picture format and go over to the height tool here. Now in here, I'm just going to select this. And again, you need to adapt this for your particular project, but I'm just going to enter 3.4 and then I'm going to press enter and that will resize my photograph and make sure the tick is checked because it then adjusts the width as well. And all the images will be adjusted to the same size. So let's select this one, and then we'll just say 3.4 and press enter. And you can see now all the images are becoming the same size. Again, go to 3.4. Now what I will do is space these out. So I need to sort of decide where I want to put the images on my page. 3.4. Okay, so now we need to decide, let's say for example, on the bottom photograph around about there, and if you wanted the top photograph around about here, then you need to then move all the photographs in between those two images. Don't worry about them being too accurate because I'll sort that out now. And then what we need to do is select all of the photographs at once. So hold down your command key on your keyboard and just click on each image and you'll see they're all selected. Then go to picture format, go over to the align tool, click on the drop down, and select distribute vertically. Now you can see they're all equidistance apart. Then go to align, 
and then a line to left and that will line them all up to the left hand side here if they don't look quite right sometimes word gets it wrong and you do have to click on it twice and it will adjust it perfectly now for these i want to put a border around each image to match the border of our text box so select all the images holding down that command or control key go to picture format go across to format pane and you need to go to this bucket icon here go to line you'll see this line drop down here and select solid line and for this one I'm going to choose a width of 7.5 and my color is black and then just deselect and you can see now all my images have a lovely borderline around them and now we're going to insert a text box so insert text box click on the drop down draw text box and then click and drag out a text box now what we will do is we'll match the height so make sure the text box is selected go to shape format and go along to height now I've managed to make it 3.4 but if you don't just select it type in 3.4 press enter and it will make sure that it's the same height as your image so now go to shape options because we don't want to affect the text at the moment go to shape options go to the bucket icon you've got solid line here but you'll see the width of it is only 0.5 so let's just change that to 0.75 to match our image outline you can see again that I'm on black and then just press enter and if we deselect that box you can see both of those border lines are exactly the same and now I'm going to enter my text so double click inside your text box I'm just going to copy and paste some text I had earlier and you can see at the moment that text is not filling my text box now if you want everything to line up beautifully you can leave the text box as it is here or you can adjust the text box by moving the bottom up if you want to it's completely up to you I'm going to keep the text box lined up with the image but if you want to adjust the text so it fits the text box you can always select all of your text and you can adjust the font size here let's press 14 and that fills my text box just that little bit better once you've completed this text box and you've customized it the way you want it then all you need to do is select it copy and paste it you can either use command or control C deselect the text box command or control V and it will copy that text box that way however I like to select the text box hold down my alt or option key click and drag and then Word has selected both these text boxes if I do it again holding down my alt key it will copy and paste two of those text boxes now because I just want one more deselect the text boxes reselect just one text box hold down my alt or option key and again copy that one across now to make sure these are all lined up perfectly line up the bottom one with this image here if you can make sure the top one is lined up which I believe it is hold down your command or control key and select all of the text boxes go to shape format go over to align and then select distribute vertically that will ensure all of them are perfectly lined up with the top and bottoms of each image and then I'm going to go back up to align align to left and that will ensure they're all lined up to the left hand side once you're happy with the complete alignment and all of your border lines we're going to select everything holding down that command or control key once we've done that we're going to go to picture format group and select group now we can move this around anywhere we want to in our document but it also means we can align everything to the center so select it go to picture format align align to center if you want to align it to the middle of your document you can put align to middle but the reason I don't want to do that is obviously because we want to put a title at the top here now you can see at the moment my cursor is sitting quite low because normally you'd want a title round about here I can adjust my margins but I find the best way to put a title in in these circumstances is to use another text box so insert text box click on the drop down draw text box click and drag out a text box 
and then I'm going to put my document title in. Then I'm going to format this text, select it all, go to home. I'm going to use my increase font size tool here. Just keep clicking on it until you're happy. I'm going to underline it here. And then I'm going to select center text. Once I've done that, because my text box is selected, I can go to shape format. I can go to align, align to center. And if I deselect it, you can see it's got that border line around the outside again. So I'm going to get rid of that. So select it, go to shape format, shape outline, click on the drop down and select no outline. There's our title and now I can move this anywhere I want to in my document. But again, I'm going to center align it. And then I'm just going to use my arrow keys to move that up or down. I can just reduce the size of it just to make that a little bit better. Move that down, deselect it. Just zoom out a little bit and just check you're happy with the layout of your document. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.